this morning, we are shining a light on the legacy of enslaved black people at Bacon's Castle in Surrey County as we mark Black History Month. It's best known for its ties to Nathaniel Bacon, Bacon's Castle that is. You may have been taught that Bacon's rebellion in 1676 was a patriotic precursor to the American Revolution 100 years later, but this morning, I'm revealing the broader truth about Bacon's Castle's backstory, how it cemented race-based slavery in the United States, and how people enslaved on that land are finally getting their due. Beyond this bird's eye view of Bacon's Castle, these brothers and cousins have come together to reflect on a shared ancestor. Our great-grandmother Cordelia was born here. Cordelia Jones was born at Bacon's Castle in 1850. The white plantation owner was likely her father, but she was enslaved, forced to sleep in the attic in a hole in the wall. A hole in the wall, yes. People of color were being thought about as things rather than people. In the shadows of the mansion, a house a fraction of its size housed generations of enslaved black families. White history at a plantation doesn't exist without the history of enslaved people at the plantation. Peyton Young is a historian and genealogist. They've been peeling back the layers to expose revolutionary black history here. You found records of enslaved people who ran away from Bacon's castle. Yes, I did. There was a small number of young men between the ages of 17 and 24 that ran away right at the start of the Civil War, and they disappeared completely. Young also tells me records reveal an enslaved man here was charged with participating in Nat Turner's Rebellion, a bloody uprising against white slave owners in Southampton County in 1831. But stories about the bravery among black people at Bacon's Castle isn't why most people know about it. Back in 1676, Nathaniel Bacon led a rebellion against Virginia's governor. Bacon rallied poor farmers to demand more land from Native Americans. They slaughtered tribes in their path and burned down Jamestown, too. And for a few months during the rebellion, some of Bacon's followers seized this home owned by the Allen family. Bacon himself was likely never here. But it was crowned Bacon's castle nearly 100 years later when Thomas Jefferson reframed the rebellion as a precursor to the American Revolution. We're preserving the house, but we're preserving every story that went into this house. Elise Whirling and Brenna Garrity with Preservation Virginia say preserving this house also means being direct about how the rebellion led by this land's namesake cemented race-based slavery in the U.S. You see, the wealthy feared their white indentured servants would rise up again, so the colonies created the slave codes. It's basically a series of laws that come up after Bacon's Rebellion, enshrining slavery as the race-based, hereditary, chattel enslavement system that would persist until 1863. Even after slavery's end, black people worked and lived on this land and in this house, including the Langhorn siblings' family in the 1930s. My aunt lived here years ago when I was a very little girl. Juliana Johnson, a celebrated midwife in Surrey, and her husband rented the former slave quarters. Unlike neighboring houses rented to white families, the Johnsons had no kitchen, toilet, or running water. They bided their time here until they saved enough money to buy a home of their own. They struggle to get where we are now, but there's still more to be done. And more to be taught about the entire legacy linked to this land. If you are a citizen of Virginia, this is your history. And I think people really need to grapple with that. For these men, grappling with what their grandmother endured here gives way to gratitude that her perseverance paved the way for their existence. I think she would probably say my soul looks back and wonder how we got over. Bacon's Castle opens for tours this season next month. In the meantime, Preservation Virginia, they're hoping to find more descendants of people enslaved there. I've shared ways you can connect inside this story at WTKR.com.